Hey, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a little bit of time traveling and we're going to travel back to 1986. Now how did this come about? Well, I was doing my floppy deep dives creating my next video and I came across the game on my next floppy Super Cycle and Super Cycle is a very cool game, a cool racing based clone based on Hang On and what popped up on the screen were the top scores and when they showed the high scores on the screen it gave me a glimpse a little view into the past you might say into 1986 and i thought how cool is that i can battle myself my 14 year old me back in 1986 i can battle him and see a 50 year old tom can beat the 1986 Tom. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. I am going to give you a little history of what was going on back in 1986 and then 2022 Tom is going to battle the 1986 Tom and see if I can beat him. So let's go ahead, pull up a chair, grab a joystick and let's get started. First, we're going to look at Super Cycle, and Super Cycle is a linear motorcycle racing game where you got to hit the finish line in a certain amount of time. And it was a clone of the arcade game Hang On, and it was amazing. It was a fun game back in the time, and once you get play started playing, uh, it was hard to stop. And you got to pick your color of your bike and pick the color of your leather jacket. And you had three different gears that you had to go to uh, while you were driving. And you could touch your opponents, but if you crashed right into them, you would crash. And the motorcycle would explode and you got to start all over again. And there were all different levels. And at first, the road's wide open. It's no problem. You can drive piece of cake but then they start doing different things like putting potholes in the road and oil and water and ice puddles and different barriers that make it more and more difficult and so you had to get through all these different obstacles in that amount of time and if you crashed a lot you weren't going to make it to the finish line and your game was over and so you kept wanting to go but you wanted to get to the finish line as fast as possible because you got bonuses for uh, as fast as possible to get to the end and then there are also bonus levels so every three levels you would come where you get to collect flags and those flags would also give you points so all that tied together gave this a really good gameplay so let's take a quick look at hang on by sega and this is what super cycle was a clone of and this was an awesome game and this is the one in the arcade where i believe you have the motorcycle that you could sit on and actually play and go back and forth leaning on the motorcycle as you go and i thought this game was great it's very similar to the outrun series the graphics on it i was a big fan of the outrun and i'm a big fan of the hang on but i wanted to show you what the original arcade looked like so you can check it out and get an idea of what this game the super cycle was based after so let's look at a little bit of the gameplay for a little bit and then we'll move on to the next section. So now that you've seen the games and you know what Super Cycle is, let's take a trip back to 1986. So back in 1986, this was my childhood home. And in that top right-hand corner, you'll see that upstairs room. And in that upstairs room, that's where I shared a room with my brother, Joe. And this is where we kept our Commodore 64 that we got in the Christmas of 1984. And now it's 1986 and we're playing Super Cycle. 
So this is me and Joe in this picture. I'm the kid with the OP shirt on, opening up the fast load cartridge, my Epix fast load cartridge that I love and still have today. And my brother Joe's right behind me. And just like all siblings, we have our competitions. And in this one, we're doing the competition on Super Cycle. So let's check out the high scores that was saved from back there in 1986. So when I pulled up SuperCycle to do another edition of What's on That Floppy, I forgot all about the top scores. And SuperCycle allows you to save 99 scores. And I love the games that save the scores because they give you a little snippet back to 1986. And that's how we're able to travel back today. These are our high scores back from 1986 when we were battling each other in super cycle and you could see our little back and forths joe's number two and number three on here and as you could see when he used to be number one and not number three he was taunting me at number four syrinx now i went by syrinx because i ran a bbs and i ran the temple of syrinx and that was my name that i went by back in the days back in the 80s so that's me so when i finally did beat him i gave it right back to him and talked about number two but for this video's purpose, I'm not worried about Joe any longer. I already defeated him back in 1986. What I'm going to try to beat is my 14-year-old self back in 1986. Syrinx, who's sitting there at number one. Today, me, Tom, at 50 years old, I'm going to battle and try to beat that high score. I'm going to give my chance. I get two chances to be able to do it to see if I could beat that high score. So that's what we're going to do. Tom at 50 years old is going to versus Tom at 14 years old. So let's get started. Let's see if we can meet 1986 Tom. Anyway, let's try. And you're off. Six seconds left. Not looking good, guys. I need the finish line. 20 seconds. Oof. That was not a good one for me. was a chance for me to make big points but I did not do so well. Oh, 21 
one second. Fifteen seconds. We need a finish line, need a finish line, bad. Oof. That one was close. That was close. That one was not going well for me. Oh, 27 seconds. These levels close now, guys. Really close. Whew. This might be it. White line, white line. Yes. Whoo! One second. Oh, that was. Cutting it way too close. Lucky is right. Oh, mercy. That was a tough one. You made it. Last track. That was it, guys. I don't even know what this camera's recording. Let's see if we made it. Here's the grand moment. And we did it. We did it. 2022 Tom has beaten 1986 Tom. Yes. Yo, I did it! I did it! So I hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane going back to 1986. Thought about thoughts of you battling your siblings or maybe your friends on the computer keeping the high scores, seeing who was better, talking trash, uh, trying to make everybody, you know, just battle a little bit harder to beat the other guy when you'd play. And I just love it. And I love the fact that we have these games that save these little glimpses into history where we can go back and see where I could do things like battle my 1986 Tom and see if I can beat the high score. So we're not done there, guys. Go ahead and check out these other videos that we have. And thank you for joining me again on Floppy Deep Dive.